We glorify your holy name. City Ogoshala Gue, Kum Nani, Gunogu Pila, Oguna Pagat, Morena Wamarena, Ohosi Yadi Hosi, Otao Yale Lokola Juta, Ole Hromela Lakutia Jesse, O Morena Wamarena, O Senat Lasalo Hodi, Wahalalena, O Pahami. O paha meza ma yemo oshi, o paha meza ma zazi oshi. Lele zazi le na unzo paha me. Riau halale eza. We glorify you, Jesus. We bless your name. Show up in this place as the most powerful God, the living God, the healer, the provider our banner, our shining light. Show up in this place as our counselor. Show up in this place as our leader. Show up in this place as our warrior. Show up in this place. Every knee shall bow and every tongue definitely will confess that Jesus Christ is the Lord. Rise, O Jehovah, and let all your enemies be scattered in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I pray from back there in the door up to here on the pulpit, let the fire of the Holy Ghost move. Show up in this place. Show up every row. Show up in this place. Ah. Bona hala, hona le batlo le kang khetlo la uqhetela letsatsi la ka sheko. Bona hala. Bona hala maphilong a bona. Bona hala. Hona le ba lahletswe ke tshepo. Bona hala go bona. Ah, hona le ba le metse maikutlo. Bona hala go bona. Hona le ba khathetseng, hona le ba nyahameng, hona le ba lang. Lo ho jwa re sa bone di khapa tsa bona. Empa wena wa ba bona. Bona hala jalo ka be our comforter, be our healer, be our deliverer. We bless you, Jesus. We glorify you, Lord. Let everybody say amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm going to preach in a very short space of time. I'll be done. If you can go with me like that. I greet you all in the wonderful name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. You may be seated in the glorious presence of the Lord. Hallelujah. Yes, yes, yes. Keleboa. Let's atilena. Leo relene yudel. Zatila kashepo. Kelebo hemorutuaka. Leo mudimu. Arene ilenye na. Taharaba kasena. Amen. Uh, he is our father, he is our mentor, he is our, he is our everything that we need in a father in this place. He is with us. Hallelujah. Yes. May the good Lord do you good. May he bless you. And I just want to appreciate you for this moment that you have given to us today uh, for me to render the word of God and to the people of God. It might not be an easy task, but definitely it has to happen. Hallelujah. Amen. Shall I see the hands of says of people who say the Lord is good? The Lord is good. The Lord is good. Yes. I don't want to see the hands of people who are angry. I don't want to see the hands of people who are sad. I want to see the hands of people who say the Lord is good. Hallelujah. Glory to God. It's, it's, it feels new even on this pulpit atmosphere is new, everything is just it's new Maruti Hanabuaka, a relaunch he said it's to make something fresh to refresh, to, to start afresh, to give it life it, the pulpit feels light my standing here uh, it, it's so easy even on my soul it's, it's, it's so easy that we are starting on a very on a very very anointed note. 
when there's anointing, everything goes easy. Uh, the, the reason for an anointing, anointing it symbolized as an oil. And the reason for an oil, the main purpose of oil, is to lubricate the surface or avoid any friction. So how to sell an oil on a rusted iron? Every rust will just fall off without any effort. You get my point? So if I want to get sip into an if it's an it's an eye, it lets it rust, rust why it's again. Once you just sprinkle Q20 to lubricate this item, in few minutes that rust will fall off. So the anointing that was in this place from last week, actually a week before last, I saw rape. It has been an oil that has been lubricating shiny light. Uh, the rust that was there, I don't know what kind of a rust it is. It's off, it's off. It's been an easy week for me. The Lord is good. After that service, this is my testimony. After that service, it's been a very easy week for me. And I'm not saying there were no trials. There were no challenges. They were there. I just saw the Lord laying a table for me. And I was just stepping on uh, the grace. Just uh, As I come, all the mountain was just being leveled. The anointing, the grace that were there. Uh, how do I put this one? Oh, You see, a spider, if you can lock it in a room, make sure that room is closed. How na? How na? Seba kasawa the spider say to them. Out la after some weeks, you'll find the spider web. It say to it's can can on the other side of the door. You ask yourself, how did it go there? I just study your handling the whole tree. The spider will always secret the spider web, and the spider web is always uh, lubricated with some fluid. It is it it's own oil. It enables it to squeeze through the tight space. Ah. After last week's service, the anointing that was all over us, it doesn't matter how closed are the doors, but we... Let me not mess up my, my, my message for today. Uh, I've been, I've been, I've been, I've been honored, Katsila Emma Katsan, to find myself in uh, I just want to talk about the cross today. I want to talk about the cross the cross. If you can just quickly play for me that our new logo. Play for me that, that uh, I want to show you that cross on the logo. Uh, I just want to elaborate further on the cross element, the cross part of our logo so that you may understand what is it that you are following. Amen. You can see it. That is shining light. And there's a cross, there's a dove, and there's a river. You get my point? Underneath, there is our motto. Not our works, but our faith in his works. The cross, it's our symbol of faith. Are we together? Our symbol of faith to the Holy Spirit. That dove symbolizes the Holy Ghost. We believe in him. Hmm. How do I put this one? That logo carries three different, important, unique, and the same things. <laughs> they are different, yet, it's the cross, the dove, and the stream, that river. Out of your belly shall flow rivers of living waters. Life. The river symbolizes what? The life. And the dove is the Holy Spirit. And the cross is our faith. We believe in him for the life that we have today. Oh, how do I put this one? In this ministry, we allow you to come as you are. And believe God for your life. That out of your belly shall flow the rivers of living waters. 
It doesn't matter how dead you were when we came here. But the, through the power of the Holy Ghost, whom we believe in, you shall spring forth life. Oh. That is simply the simplest or the basic way in Kathalosang, if someone asks me, what is shining light? I will tell him of a shining light. We believe in the power of the Holy Spirit for the life of every human being. Everyone from all spheres of life, we believe God for you. Hence, I usually say, look at somebody next to you and tell them everything will be all right. Because it is not our works, but definitely it is our faith in his works. Do you believe God? Then everything will be all right. I was going through some journey the other day, past few, six months, I think. I was going through something in my life. And as I was praying to God, asking why am I going through this? I could hear him speaking peacefully in my heart, saying, the reason for this that you are going through, it is the absence of faith. Oh. But I thought I'm a pastor God. I thought I'm a man of God. There are so many people who, when they look at me, they see a powerful man. But God convicted my heart and humbled me, told me, you are going through this because of the absence of faith in me. And while I was admitted, I was sharing with fellow, not inmates, fellow uh, 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 patients. We, it's like a prison there, but all of us are patients. I was sharing with them, guys, you know, there is no cure for what you are going through. God told me that. And he said, only cure for every one of us in this institution is to believe in him. When you don't believe God, you open doors for doubt. You open doors for fear. You open doors for frustration. As a result, anxiety builds up. From anxiety comes depression. And depression has got its own steps. And once you reach the last step of depression, the only way out is death, suicide. You think of killing yourself or ending your own life. Obanejuale, you have now reached bottom rock where there is nowhere else to go. And God said to me, you are at the lowest of any bottom rock. Look underneath your feet. Look beside you and look other way around, turn around. I could feel and sense walls around me and down there I could sense a very hard rock that there is nowhere else to go but the only way it's for me to die here. And God said there is still hope because when you look around, there is nowhere else to go. The only way to look is up. And as I looked up, there was nothing on top of me. It was just an open space. And he said, for the fact that you can see a space up there, the space symbolizes or rather means an opportunity. That is a clean slate. That needs only you to believe in me. If you can believe, you will reach that space. And I began to believe God for bigger things, for better things. And every frustration that came into my life, I started to put it under my feet where it belongs. And I said, I don't worry about tomorrow for tomorrow will mind its own. I believe in God for today and I believe him forever. And as every trial kept coming, I kept on building up on them and they became my stepping stone. And 
arm. Because I'm the moment I was tired of staying down there. And I started to step on the frustration of yesterday. And I stepped on of lack of finance. I stepped on all those sicknesses. I, as I kept on stepping, I find myself going high. And as I looked back, I saw that ground that kept me down, remaining down there. And I was now up. And I started to believe God even more. The more frustrations and stress came up, I kept on stepping on them. And as I was stepping on them, I was getting out of all the situation. As I'm going the more you step on them, the Bible says the enemy belongs under our feet. And it is our responsibility to step on him. For the Lord knows that when the enemy comes in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord will do what? Will raise your standard. He came like a flood. I stepped on him. And the standard was now raised. And now it is... Uh, it's like I am immune to frustration. I am unable to be depressed or unable to be anxious of anything. Because now my faith has been reactivated. I now believe in God. God Almighty. God who done things before everything could begin. He was there to begin things. He was God from the inception of days. Oh, he is the ancient of days. He is the living God the creator who is uncreated, who created the universe. My good Lord, the Bible says everything that you can see with your naked eye was created by God. And I said, if I can believe in this God who created things by his word, and believe his word and put it into practice, the Bible says, we believe things that are not there as though they are. And de definitely they happen. They, be, they come to pass. They are. Oh, whatever that you believe God for, it shall come to pass. If you believe God, ah, our theme for today is the cross. And I said the cross, it's our symbol of faith. For the, oh, As long as you see the cross, you must think of your faith. The bigger the cross, the bigger the faith. Oh, and our cross is strategically highlighted in blood. It's red. Red symbolizes the blood of Jesus. It is the blood of Jesus that gave us access into his holy throne. Oh, it was through his blood that today we find ourselves worthy to sit in his presence. Hmm. How do I bring this to somebody? It was through the blood of Jesus that today every one of us, we are able to sit here without any conviction of uh, condemnation or whatever in Kaibea. I feel feel guilty of anything. Oh. It is so difficult and impossible to worship God with a guilt feeling. Hmm. Give <laughs> For the fact that I understand through the blood of Jesus, I've been washed, I've been renewed, I've been rejuvenated, I've been forgiven. There is therefore no condemnation to them that believe in Him. Hmm? Today it's a new day. The blood of Jesus washed me. The sins of yesterday were forgiven even before I committed. Oh. <laughs> I don't know if you usually hear my prayer when I pray. I say, forgive me the sins of the past, the present. 
even the future ones. That's how powerful is the blood of Jesus. He's able to forgive you today. He's able to forgive you then. And he will also be able to forgive you after. That's how powerful our God is. So when you see the cross painted with that blood, that red color, you must know that it is our faith and that blood stands for hope. Oh, a second chance. An atonement has been done on your behalf. The moment it's fine, we can go to the grave and clean. And we can just say to the grave, I miss my mom. And you understand my point. There is nothing wrong there. You just look at that grave and remember the good memories about your mom. It's fine. There is nothing wrong there. But there is no way that as a believer, the child of God, sanctified, holy, born again, uh, demon slayer, the next thing you are bowing before a sheep, bowing before a goat, requesting blessings from a goat. You know how? <laughs> Anything that you bow to, you symbolize that you come to its level. Any man who is able to bow before God will stand before every creature. Bow before your God, he alone. And you will stand before anything. And command. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Kirin Open your Bible. Hallelujah. <laughs> How little, how Le 
It takes somewhere far, far in the place they've never been. They believe along the way they came across a man named Simon who was from Cyrene, and the soldiers forced him to carry Jesus' cross. This man had no choice, but he was forced. In Banalue, now we have a choice. You can choose whether you carry it or you ignore it. The Bible says as they came along, they met this man. And maybe, maybe how not only AK-47 in those days, they could have pointed him with the AK and said, carry this cross or die. The Bible says he was forced to carry Jesus' cross. And they went out to a place called Golgotha, which means a place of skull. This message takes me back to Easter. A place of skull. What's it about skull again? Skull is a sort of Hence, I say, I still stand and say today, the same place where Jesus was crucified, it is the place where the very head of Goliath that people were looking for has been buried in. David cut off his head and ran to the city showing everyone that the serpent is dead. And I say to you, a serpent is anything that is antichrist. And you know what is an antichrist? Antichrist is anything that is against God of the armies of Israel. David when was slaying Goliath, Goliath was busy insulting the name of the father. After he cut off his head, he ran into the city and was announcing that he is dead. And the Israelites were now relieved. And everyone never followed what happened to that herd. And as you reverse going back to the season of Genesis, when God was launching all the punishments unto all those who never listened to him, which is a man, a woman, and a snake. 
bo mosadi a re o tla feta ka ra bohloko bo fetisisang ka le bakala pele honoha the serpent the antichrist he said the seed of a man shall crush your head it was not just a punishment but it was a prophecy that was to be fulfilled and i still believe what that prophecy was had, was supposed to be fulfilled by jesus christ hence of all the places that he was to be crucified why did they choose the place of a skull it is where the head the the skull the head of a serpent which was now told in genesis it will be crushed by a seed of a man jesus christ was not born out of the air it was not just spoken let there be jesus and he was he was prophesied that a vision girl shall bore a son and his name shall be Emmanuel he will be the prince of peace and his kingdom shall be the everlasting one the very same prince of peace is the son of Mary and Joseph who carries God within himself and the same God had to be crucified and they strategically chose to crucify him at the most forbidden place the place of skull no one could come near that mountain in those days but they chose to set him there so he can finish the battle oh Hence I stand here boldly to say to you or your victory is guaranteed Obane he won already The moment they took his cross and nailed it right there ah through the leading and the guidance of the holy ghost I believe the point of that cross was directly on the head of the serpent And as you check the cross of Jesus it was not the head side up but head was up it was not head down but head was up and his legs was down that was a symbol the moment they put it back there it was when he crushed that head which we were promised according to genesis it was done they thought they were killing him only to find they are fulfilling the prophecy through the cross as they lay him there on the cross they thought he was dying <sighs> he was not the one who was dying but the antichrist it was the end of the devil <sighs> this thing it's like when you drink a poison and hope for someone to die yet the poison will now work on you because you are the one who ah, uncle sia the devil is so foolish they thought they were finishing the christianity they thought they were doing away with christians through the cross only to find it was now the beginning of the power it was the relaunching ah, uncle sia it was the rejuvenation it was re-empowerment of the christianity through the cross of Jesus we claim our victory it is through the cross for the fact that i can think of the cross through the night even when the nightmare comes and i'm able to stand and say in the name of Jesus if the cross it's still there in your subconscious even in your deep sleep you are able to fight witchcraft and wickedness of the devil together with his demons right in the deep of your sleep because in your mind is the cross ke se fapa no mo re fumana ntlolo ya rona teng se fela se ke se fapa no ke bo ha mo hao it is in the cross bagadua we have been given the cross the power of the cross as a symbol of our faith that is able to do things that no one can think of your faith it can start the fire without you igniting with a stick oh ngosia <laughs> If you believe God you are shaking the pit of hell. Katumelo ya hao. 
How do men and women move? Of fudu a satan, the lebayets and abahai. The reason you've got so many enemies, it is because of this faith of yours. Jesus, Hana Sabu, we got to melo, a cabas nadira, say lenta motarisa. Empacana cotoche, he would say, To meloya how you pity seat. Emma, what am I? Emula Mulalo, when I'm Tataba, how so sharp, it's a maulo sharp. Ea, ea, let's hang, ea, ea, no kem lo sharp. Go and wash. Sink deep seven times. He, he just spoke faith. And I still say now, the language of God is nothing but faith. How The cause is our reminder of our faith in God. We believe God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It doesn't end there. It says they, they the soldiers gave Jesus wine mixed with bitter gall, but when he had tasted it, he refused to drink it. Please go to the next slide. After they had nailed him to the cross, they had nailed him where? To the cross. The soldiers gambled with his clothes by throwing a dice. Remember, I said, Your faith, you will be the enemies. They put him on the cross. When he was still working on his feet, there were no soldiers playing with his garment. They waited until he was nailed on the cross. And they now started to, to, to play gamble, play dice with his garment. Everything was fine with your life the moment you were not believing in God. Huh? Jesus was not yet there in your life. Hmm? It was so easy. Things could just happen. And the moment you received him, then you started to see things are now getting harder and harder. You must know that you are no longer a friend of the world, but you are the friend of God. He who is the friend of God becomes the enemy of the world. And he who is the enemy of the world becomes the friend of God. He who is the friend of the world becomes the enemy of God. Hmm? You get my point? So they waited until he was now nailed on the cross. They took the same garment which healed one of them. One of their sisters was healed by touching that garment. You remember the story of the woman with the issue of blood? She didn't pray that girl. No, she didn't. I don't hear where they said she was fasting for 40 days and 40 nights. I don't know why they Ah. She pressed and pressed and pressed until she, cast, she touched the hem of the garment of Jesus. And the moment she touched it, she was healed. The same power that the garment carries. When he was on the cross, they forgot about that power. They started to play with it. Hmm? The moment you say, when you go through the cross season, they forget you. Hmm? Ke batla bua le motho ya ke nkile ka ba le hona ho ikila lo ka o kile ba hantle. Nkile ka ba fepa. Ke la ba apesa. Ke la ba futhumatsa. Ke la ba nyorolla. Empa ka shekolena e ka re ha ke a tlwa ke ile ka etsa ntho tse o ka o fela. O tsebe you are going through the cross. It is the cross season. It's like you never did any good. I want to remember this before I close my message. They asked before Jesus Christ was to be crucified, Maruti, if I'm right. 
they, they, they put, uh, I think there was a meeting, a gathering of the entire community there. Before Jesus was to be crucified, the entire community gathered there and Jesus was placed. And the question was asked, before we crucify this man as you claim that he is to be crucified, please, is there anyone among you whom he did good to? Is he all that bad? They were grumbling and no one was comfortable with that question. They asked, is there any, any? How na mle monya na fella we wan omuto na uyenzina? Before we put him on the cross, tell us about any good that he did to anyone. Mind you, among them there are those whom he raised from the dead. Among them there are those whom he healed from leprosy. Among them there are those whom he, they were to be stoned to death. And he rescued them. Among the same people who, who, were, who, were, who, were, who were not comfortable with the question of, did he do any good to you? Among them, there were those who, whom he, he delivered from the spirit of demons. He chased away demons from them. Among them, there were those people. And when the question was raised, none of them came out. Because he was facing the cross. When you are going through the cross season, no one will remember any good that you did to them. And don't cry, my dear. It is just a cross season. Kitila ya se fapano ijoa. Kitila ya se fapano. Kitwa rapela na joanji. Otibe, kitila ya se fapano inale mi yuka. Inale mi wabadi. Ya baba, ebo shoku. Ya opa. It's the most painful journey ever that anyone could ever embark on. None of them came out to say, this man did one, two, three. He rose my son from the dead. He saved me from the community that was trying to stone me to death. This man delivered me from the spirit of demons. This man did this. None of them came out. Instead, all of them declared him, let him die. Let him die. Let him die. Batlo batla ho bola ya le ho jo ba thusitse. I am saying it boldly. Bona le batho ba o thusang ka sheko, o ga batse ba o controla ho sane. They help you today. They want to be in charge tomorrow. And I want to tell you this. Ha e bana ntuso ya mofuta o jolo e tla ske ba wa because you'll be selling your soul to the devil. If you help me, please put your camera away. If you help me, please don't go around talking about it. If you are helping me, please don't bring the crowd to witness. If you are helping me, please don't come and follow up to see tomorrow if I'm still where you left me. To so fit. They want to help you so they can take charge, control you, take leadership of your life, decisions. Everything about you must be endorsed by them first. You can't live the life of pleasing people. No ways. As he was hanging there, a sign was fastened above Jesus. On his head, it was announcing the church against him. It read this. This is Jesus, the King of Jews. They thought they were mocking him. But they were actually prophesying what he is. They are interceding for you. And they were not reading that sign looking down. But they were reading it looking up. This is Jesus, the King of Jews. But we get a bit here. Let's all a bit here. But we're not a fella guy. 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 
Without them, you are going to die. Tell them to vanish for three months and come back to see if you are still there. You are not depending on anyone but God alone. The reason you have nobody in your life is because there is God. And when there is God, you need nothing. You need him alone. I'm not saying hate people. I'm just saying don't depend on people. Depend on Jesus alone. He's the only king of Jews. He's the only king of the world. He's the only God among all the gods that is alive. He's the lily among the valley. He's the great shepherd. He's the living God. He is, I am that I am. That is the God I am talking about. He is Jehovah, El Shaddai, Elohim, Adonai, Yahweh, He is Rafa, He is Elohim, He is Jehovah, El Elohim, He is Mikadishke, He is Jehovah Shama, He is the God. There is nobody compared to Him. He is our only God. Lift your hand if you believe in God. I thank you, Lord, for the cross that Jesus hung on. I thank you for the cross. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Na le mo tshomo di mo mo thusang hana jwale tshe. Father, remind this woman hore when I'm with you. Mo hopotse, mo hopotse when I'm with you. Mo hopotse, mo hopotse. Kase fapano, let it be a reminder that you are God. Remind him that you are God. The cross is a reminder of our faith in God. We believe God for bigger things. We believe him for better things. Please show me the cross. We believe him. We believe him for bigger things. We believe him. A cross is an addition sign strategically. When you believe him, there's an addition in your life. Addition. 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 Multiplication. Increase. Enlargement. Improvement. Promotion. As I speak like this, I am creating a testimony for you. The Lord will make it happen and you shall testify. Let there be a cross over your life. Better things, bigger things, brighter things. Let there be a cross, a hope. You can do it again. You can see it better. You can try one more time. You can cross over in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. I 
pray right now through the power of the Holy Ghost. The cross of Jesus Christ be engraved in everyone's heart in this place. In the name of Jesus. When we see the cross, we see the resurrection. The coming back of life. Ah. Whatever that has died prematured in your life, let it come back again. Your career, your ministry, your job, your finances, your business, let it come back in the name of Jesus. Let it come back in the name of Jesus. Let it come back in the name of Jesus. Your life, may it never be the same again. May you experience the grace of God. In Jesus' mighty name. Somebody speak these words with me. Say, Lord Jesus Christ, I believe in you and I trust you for my life. May your cross be in my heart. May it be in my life. May it fight for me in the battles that I don't have power over. In the name of Jesus. Let there be hope. Let there be light in the name of Jesus. My life is fresh. Start afresh. My life, it's new again in the name of Jesus. I believe it is done. Amen. Clap your hands for Jesus Christ. Clap your hands for Jesus. Clap your hands for Jesus. You may be seated. We were just saying the cross. Pastor Komoto, we were just saying the cross. It's just in the cross. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Just close your eyes wherever you are. Say, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Hallelujah. You can go and refresh, come back to your small groups so we can carry on in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you so much.